Hello, I'm Jessica, an e-learning specialist, and I'm here to talk about how to use VBA codes in Excel. So what's happened? Somebody's come to you and said, we need to code this out, we need to make this happen automatically. And VBA is just a way of recording some complex macros, so things can happen pretty much all by themselves when you run them. It can save a lot of time. So the first thing you're going to see is that I don't have a data tab, and so I'm going to go to Options. In 2013, it's under File, Options. If you're using 2010, you're going to find it under that Office button, that Microsoft logo, and it's down in the bottom corner. It, sells, it says Excel Options. I'm going to go to Customize Ribbon, and I'm going to turn on the Developer tab. And here it is, a Developer tab. So now I can go in and I can put in my Visual Basic, which is what VBA stands for, and I can save my new uh, for, um, VBA right here, and then simply run it. So I hope that helps, but one thing before you start running these um, codes, Excel actually has a lot of built-in functions that's really easy to use and might make your life a lot, lot better. So conditional formatting is an important one. You can actually set up some rules, happens automatically. So definitely get in and experiment with that before you try to learn how to do some extra coding. Thanks so much and I hope this helps.